so starting it up again so yeah for anyone joining me for the first time i guess um i try to stream every um sunday night and wednesday night um i'm not gonna be able to stream this wednesday again though due to uh, restrictions so i'll try to stream another day of the week um it might be tomorrow honestly uh with what my schedule is looking like so uh, we're probably going to jump on there um because i don't know if i'll be able to do it thursday either um because i have a feeling i'll be getting things situated for regionals and making sure all of our groups are okay This hand is a little slow, but we're going to go Thalia, Displacer, and hopefully a Thought Knot. Thalia. But we've got a temple. Bye bye, Thought Not. We knew you well. shadow here. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to play Caverns here, name Eldrazi, and we're going to pass it over. And we're going to see if we're able to bounce their Gormog, if they shock themselves with another land or anything. And then we'll be able to finish them off here with the displacer and the smasher okay they're not shocking themselves unfortunately it's just a case on us not having the build the other land. Okay. So I want paths. And I want the rest in pieces. 
I don't want a deputy. Gotta take out the sky spawners. Um, so yeah. I think I still want to keep in the EEs. Hmm. What's up, Gorby? Thanks for joining me. I think we're gonna keep this. It's got a temple, it's got a smash, it's got a stirrings. How was uh, dinner, man? Shadow. We just finished one league and we went two three. Um, and now we're in another league. We just started up. Alright, we have the options of a few different lands, but temple's gonna be the way for us to go. So we can go next turn, we can go displacer into smasher. We just started, this is match one. I think. Wait, where's this is mesh two? I'm losing it. Yeah, this is match one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely losing it. Awesome man, I'm excited for you too. Figured he would say yes. So, there goes one smasher. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, they don't have another thought knot. I mean, thought sees. We'll just hold back and see if we can blink their threats and win the game next turn. A bachelor parties in Vegas would be amazing. Sounds like it's gonna be a great time. Well, let's see if they have anything. He got there. Boom. 2 well. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is sweet. You'll be able to get like really cheap flights there. Hotels are pretty reasonable. So I, like the majority of the cost is really just what you guys want to do for entertainment. Oh, this hand's pretty risky. Are we on the play? We're not on the play. We're in the draw. All right, this hand can go noble into ancient stirrings, which is pretty strong. But I swear, I'm so polarized on these hands. All right, we're gonna fetch up a temple garden. 
And we're gonna run out the noble and pass it over. Yeah. B bad is right. Gonna grab the brush land here, play that, and pass it over. again all right we found the lands we're looking for and i don't think the caverns are obviously gonna be relevant in this game so we're gonna grab the island here so we can make sure we can cast our blue spells and we're gonna run out this displacer and pass it over why no thalia against them I think they're a, they're a zoo deck. This displacer is going to be able to block down their voice, and it's going to be able to blink the tokens. Other oh, prime speaker deck. Okay. Okay, we got a prime speaker deck. So we can stop them from going off with Displacer. Oh, last turn. I must have just missed it. I'm sorry. Um, I think here we're just going to run out Thalia, and then we're going to blink their Vanifar on their turn. Yeah, I, de I definitely must have just missed that. That's a Scrib Ranger, and they're going to be able to untap, and they should be able to combo us. Oh, wait, no, they can't combo us. They have something like this. So Temple's good for us to be able to just keep blinking them here. Downside though is that we're just not pressuring them. We could thought not them here and still be able to blink the Vanifar. That doesn't seem bad. Kiki cheeky, we're gonna get rid of that. Um, 
So you maxed out your Warframe and your melee weapon. So like at this point, really what you, you're going to want to do in Warframe is just keep clearing the maps. I would save your Platinum. If you're going to spend your Platinum, the one thing I would recommend you, you can spend your Platinum on is the... Um, are the Warframe slots or the weapon slots. You're gonna run out of slots pretty fast. Okay, here we can play out the Smasher and hit them for six unless they wanna give up three voice tokens. No, I think we're just gonna play Smasher And then we're probably just going to pass here. Because if we give them three voice tokens this next turn, that's going to be pretty bad for us. So we'll just go, we're just going to plan on blinking the Vanifier again. Yeah, we're just going to want to get you more frames and more um, weapons so you can start doing more things. Okay, they're playing a Crater Maker main board. They're probably gonna blow up our Displacer then. Yeah, we could drown or lock them, but with them playing the Crater Maker here, I think we have to run out the other Displacer and just hold up the ability to blink. Um, guaranteed once against the Vanifar. Um, and then next turn look into Drowner and then going for the kill that way. Because if we run out Drowner right now, they could just blow up our Displacer and then they win on their turn. And I still don't want to swing here because I don't want to be uh, sitting against a ton of voices, uh, tokens. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. If we play Drowner, we'll still be able to blink once. Alternatively, we pass and we can only blink twice, one of which has to be on the Vanifar. I think we're going to run out our Drowner here.
kill our droner. Do a camp link in response. That's fine. And we're going to pass again here. Blinking Vanifar again on there. That is a kiki jiki. Mm, this is pretty awkward for us. I mean, they could go get any, if they have a Deceiver Exarch or a Bounding Crassus um, in their deck, they will combo us. Um, and then it, they can also go get, um, so that's at three, Deceiver, Pestermite, or Bounding Crassus, or Bell Ringer. Um, at the four, they got uh, Resto or the other one. We can stop their combo by uh, blinking their Kiki Jiki in response to them attacking. I mean, in response to them doing their effect, uh, the big problem for us right now is that every turn they're going to be able to make a voice token if that's the route they want to go. Um, so, what I'm thinking we're going to have to do here is pass this turn. We're going to try to we're going to blink their Vanifar again to stop them from comboing. Then we're going to have to uh, they're going to tap their Kiki Jiki, and then we're going to have to just kind of start blinking a lot of their stuff. Just to make it a clear, we got to try to kill them in one attack, I think. So if we blink a good majority of their board on their turn and then do it again on our turn, I think we should have lethal. Oh, shit. Well, I just uh, skipped past the draw. So, it looks like we're going to combat, though. So, I'll let it go to combat. <sighs> we're fine with them just swinging. Okay, if we let it hit, we go down to five... And then that's fine because we're going to blink their Vanifar right now. Then I think we take the five and we can blink the rest at the end of turn. I don't want to block the tokens. Or I, I guess I'll block this two here because that's going to get sacrificed at the end of turn no matter what.
see how they want to play this out because they they can actually make quite an intimidating board they can kiki jiki their voice untap their kiki jiki and do it again they want to go to end step though okay all right they're just passing it to us makes things a little bit more difficult we actually wanted them to do something there so we're gonna blink a voice token. And we're gonna blink away that elemental. So here, so if we try to blank their Kiki, I imagine they know that they can untap it and then create two tokens. So that's a bit of a problem for us. Um, I think instead what we're going to do is just try to blank their voice. And then we're going to blank the other voice. And then we're going to go for the lethal swing here. Oh, I think we had to go for it there because if it gets back to their turn, they're just generating more tokens every turn. Um, two tokens every turn. We're only no, I don't know. Maybe maybe we could have waited. Maybe I pulled the trigger too fast, but I thought I had to go for it there. I want to bring in the deputy in the path here. Uh, I think EE is too hard to pull off because they're just going to be... Um, they have uh, just too widespread of a creature base and their one drops really don't matter. Um, their threes can matter, but I think we should be able to hold them off. Um... Do we want to bring in Stubborn for the Eldritch of the Chords is a question. I think we're okay. They, we didn't see a single one that turn. Maybe they're not playing that many. Yeah, we, we could have waited for a path. I don't know. I think... Yeah, that might have been more reasonable to wait for that. Uh, I'm fine with this. We got Displacer. And we can cast it on turn two.
tapped our displacer. It's a little sad. On the plus side, we get to smash. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we. Yeah, right now it's just myself, Tyler, Kyle, and Reese. So getting you and Andrew on would be awesome to get more uh, more times where we we'll able to create a four man group. Word. I think we're going to shock ourselves here. Run out the drowner. Swing for six. Curious if we should tap down their bird on their turn so they don't have access to blue. I think we're okay because the worst case scenario really here, they just get Vanifar and they can't like give it haste and play it because um, they would have to be playing the rhythm version and they don't seem to be on that version. So we'll let it pass, see what they got. And if they get Kiki Jiki, um, I think that's still fine. We win here because we can play Deputy. We're just going to tap down your voice. And we're going to tap down your bird. And then whatever creature they play, we're going to exile it with Deputy. As long as it's not Finks, we should win. Oh, they're going to evolution. That's a little annoying. What's their four drop? Is it Vanifar? Oh, Rally or Remake the Voice. Okay. Start off with stirrings. <sighs> Thought not. Should be our grab here. And then we can deputy them and then swing in. I want to see what's in their hand first, actually. Let's see if there's anything we should be worried about. Another evolution. A knight and a scrib. I guess the evolution's the big problem here. Because that knight's just a 2 2. Gonna have to hit the token. And then 
and force them to block at least with a creature. They'll probably throw the voice under the bus. And go to two. We can swing with Smasher here, and they'd have to throw the token and another creature at it in order to prevent the lethal attack, which I think is what we want. and we'll pass it over to them. He was just messaging in the group chat a second ago. Maybe the EEs are worth in this match with all the voice tokens they have, but... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shoot Jeff a message. Ooh, zealous. Smasher is great. Yeah, I just sent him a message, see what he's got for us. Yeah, I might try bringing in the two of these and taking out two sky spawners.
this hand we cannot keep. This hand, I'm fine to keep. And we'll keep the land. That's a fair swap, like. to run out the EE -E coin yet. That's a Vanifar, that's pretty bad for us. Okay, nothing. That means they should have a Resto. So if that's the case, we should just pass here. Start clocking us for four in the air. can EE for two here, lose our Thalia, but take out their crater, their spell sky, and their voice. If we do it right now, they can't activate their um, their crater maker, but they're gonna have a 3-3 three, three and uh, a rest health, so they're gonna put us down to six. Following turn, we would play the Drowner and then be able to block the voice and tap down the rest of us, so we'll be at three. That doesn't seem unreasonable. I guess we'll swing with the Thalia first. Pass it over. Let's see what they got for us.
other fire is not great. Especially one that is protection from blue. <sighs> that path, though, is good for that resto. So we path the resto this turn, then we're going to take two in the air. Oh, man, that's hmm, awkward. Okay. Because Drowner is awkward, too, because if we run out Drowner and we tap down the rest of they just untap it and then swing at us and kill us. So I think we're just going to pass here. They go to swing, and then that's when we'll go for the path play. That way we might be able to block an elemental token. Bird, okay. Hmm. So we would be trading with the elemental here, but we have to do it. could easily get out of control. So we gotta crack this windswept as much as I don't really want to because we're pretty low on life. I'm gonna grab a hollow fountain though. Ah, oh, that protection from blue is so good! <laughs> oh. So we play Scion, we'll tap down the Scrib Ranger, um, and then we'll Deputy the Ooze. And so we can tap it down for two turns. We might be able to just take one hit. Um, yeah, yeah, it can tap the Scrib. I was I wanted to get, get it off the board. We could deputy this turn and eat the ooze. Um, otherwise, we're most likely going to be just chump blocking it. Because they're going to make that ooze pretty large. One, two, three, four, five. You know, we, we should definitely do this. Um, this turn because if we don't if we don't next turn we might not be able to and if we do it next turn we'll be able to chump block with the noble I guess if we need the team as well and if this way we wouldn't die to another noble being played because if they play another noble they can just tap uh, Oh no, because they can just untap their Scrib Ranger. Hmm. Because we tap it down, they just untap it and swing at us. So we're hoping they attack with the Scavenging Ooze and we can just chump block it, take one in the air, I guess. 
We could use a displacer, folks. Yeah, let's not throw away the Scion here. Let's see if they'll just swing. If they want to swing for two in the air, that's fine. We'll go to one. Otherwise, we're just going to chump block that ooze with the Scion and take one and go to two. to finish this match here. Alright, starting show me the way. EE is great on two. EE on two takes care of Ooze and Scrib and the Wigan Detention Sphere, the Knight of Autumn. it over here see what they do the downside is like they can hit us for one in the air with the bird So we're going to pop EE this turn. I think their best attack is actually just swinging with one in the air with bird, putting us to one. Um, we're going to pop it this turn, and then we'll have to play Deputy next turn to eat their, um, eat their noble. I mean, eat their bird, I guess. And then, uh, you know, let's see how this plays out. That's another attack they can do, and that's fine. We're just going to block with the Scion here. We'll tap down there. Ooh, it doesn't really matter. evolution away the Scrib Ranger. They could grab the Rallier here, bring back their Scrib Ranger. I 
Wrestling the Night of Autumn doesn't seem as great. It's also fine though. I know we had to send that displacer. Yeah. What are you gonna blink? But night, gain some life. Make it a four or three again. Still gonna pop this here. Get rid of the ooze. Temple's not great. We can deputy their restoration angel. Swing for six here because we're gonna have to chump block that Knight of Autumn. No, the Knight. Of, if the Knight of Autumn swings, it'll just be a three two. We gotta put a clock on him though, otherwise, we're never gonna kill him. This is game three, right? If they evolution into a Kiki, they can just copy their Noble and swing us in the air for lethal. Yeah. Yeah. That's a match. Oh. Hmm. I guess we could have, like, if we, we could have taken the Displacer over the EE. At the time, though, that EE was worth three creatures, which seems pretty awesome for us. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think the Displacer we could have taken it. I think we would have lost if we took it, because they still had Spell Skype. Hmm... We can keep the same. Don't really know what they're on right now. Planes and the planes. Let's see if Thalia does anything for them. Taxes? Are they on taxes? Is that what we're doing, opponent? Fine, we don't we don't want those specialty lands anyway. They didn't know we had all these basics in our decks though. <laughs> I really don't know what they're doing other than blowing up our lands. Are they gonna wrath this here? Cause that'd be that'd be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see what else they got to be working with. Okay, they got to settle the wreckage, Gideon, and a cast out. We can deal with the Gideon tokens with Displacer. Cast out, though, that's kind of annoying. Settle the wreckage as well. I think we're going to take the cast out because that's the thing that immediately takes care of our thought knot. 
and we can we can attack around the settle and we can blink away the Gideon and then we can path the Archangel. So we play Displacer here, and we're going to attack with the Thought Knot. If they want to settle, we'll use, uh, we'll blink our uh, Thought Knot and take the card out of them. Okay, there's the settle. Crack this. We'll get a Breeding Pool, shock ourselves. And we'll blink the thought knot. They got another settle and secure the waste. Oh, secure the waste can make them a really large amount of tokens, so that's kind of annoying. Gideon's still fine and settle's still fine, so yeah, we're just gonna take secure here. And we'll pass it over to them. Chalice on one makes our path pretty bad. I imagine they're going to go for the settle here. This one just a thought, not. Huh? Cool, we got damage in. Alright, we're just going to pass it back to him here. We can play Thought Knot twice. To really mess with their cards. We will take that settle. And that's fine because we're just gonna blink that. Mine still we don't care about. We'll take the Gideon. We'll blink your Avison and then swing for lethal. Cool. Okay. Well, they've got cast out and chalice. So I think that's reason enough to bring in the Knights and the Deputy. I do want to bring in the Stubs as well. They seem to have a lot of cards that I want to hit there. Um, Path for the Angel. I don't even mind taking that out. I want to keep the EEs because they've got a lot of token generation going on. And I want to keep the Thalios as well, because it seems to slow them down a good bit. I think we'll run it like that. Mono White Control, okay. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it. thought it was taxes at first, but they were too slow for that. They didn't do any crazy stuff. Yeah, there's been a lot of crazy decks at um, 5-0 on Moto. Alright, this is a six land hand, we can't keep that. 
Uh, we're going to have to hit a little bit of luck here, but uh, we need to hit some lands and I think we'll be alright. Play the planes, not the brushland. That was a mistake. It was definitely a mistake. I hope they hit the breeding pool here, because otherwise we're off of thought not. Yeah, that was a mistake. That does not cost us the game. Wrath is pretty good for them. Color will slam off top. Pretty much a colorless land, right? Gideon's cast out journey. <laughs> I don't think we care about the trials. Definitely think the choice here is either cast out or journey. I guess I'd rather make them pay more mana for whatever they want to do, so I will take the journey to make them pay the four mana for the cast out here. And then we'll pass it over to them. You know, I guess the other, the more reasonable thing actually was just to let them have the journey because we can blow it up with EE. here this mono white deck is pretty sweet oh well, we need to hit another land for this drowner otherwise we're gonna be real dead real soon I got a nine here. I mean, we're going to take nine here. Drop Smasher, Swing Smasher at, we jump, we die. Run out, Drowner, they're gonna cast Cast Out, and then we're in the same position. So we lose there. Best line, I think, is Smasher and wait. That seems bad. They just cast out our creature and then we're still dead. 
Smack. Oh no, we get to stub it, I guess. If we play EE -E on three here, we're only gonna kill the four four Gideon, and then the five five one's gonna get through unless we give up our thought knot and go to three. Right? Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I was uh, not. I didn't see that in chat last turn. Oh, uh, we could have done it last turn. For sure. Hmm. I think our line to stay alive here is just Drowner. And then we can chump block with the tokens. And we can swing and make them give up the knight this turn. Well, if we play Smasher, we, we stub the... Um, we can stub the cast out, but then... Actually, they don't even cast out. Well, no, they can secure. Oh, yeah, they just cast out. No, if I was them, I would just go secure, then cast out. But if we, pl if we play the Smasher, we're going to have to put the Smasher on the 4-4 Gideon and then throw up the Thought Knot against the um, the other one and and we're really just in the same spot again aren't we it'll just be a turn later with us having one less card And they'll have one extra card. Yeah, I think Drowner is the play. It's not great, because they're going to be able to cast, um, cast it out. But then we're going to be able to um, chump block everything. So... Drowner, and then we'll swing at getting into the trial here. Give up the knight or give up your Gideon. the 5-5 five, five and go to 1. Displacer is good. Displacer can keep us in this game. Yeah. Because we're able to block and blink here and we can hold up stub. So we're going to swing a Gideon of the Trials with this one. And then they'll go to secure the ways. We'll counter it with um, Stub. Alright, they're Gideon dies. And now if they want to uh, either turn Gideon into a creature or create a token, we can get rid of it in either way.
Oh my gosh, they played Big Gideon. Is this Gideon Tribal? Did you lie to me? This is not Mono White Control, this is Gideon Tribal. We can smash her here. Kill the good father, the real one. We're gonna have to chump block with our displacer, which is not good. Oh, the breath of God, we're dead. Okay, I lied. They're on the Gidfather plan. We are bringing in these paths, okay? We are in on the paths. Uh, I don't even care about the Thalias. They're such a slow deck that I don't think it's worthwhile. <sighs> Man, this deck. Alright, I think we're gonna take out the other Drowner here. No, we're gonna take on a Knight of Autumn. Mon yeah, this looks like the deck for sure. Okay. Alright, we will keep this. Blake, can you just put this deck together? <laughs> And run it at the regionals. This looks looks right up your alley. I think, um, I don't know, I think Elspeth would have been better. Okay, I think we're just going to go for Eldrazi here and drop the Displacer. Could do wizard here and take their mind stone and try to keep them off of that. That seems real loose. I'm still gonna name wizards. Hmm. I think we're gonna do it, but it seems real bad. Yeah, that's what he was saying. He's saying he took out the, uh, the, oh, yeah, that's what you said. Took out the, uh, the Elsuts for the Baby Gideons.
Okay. Grab a white source so we can make sure we can play this path. They got a journey us right here. Chalice on one. If they're gonna chalice on one, I almost want to just path our deputy here. They've got the mana anyway, and this way we can make sure we have a chance of playing that. Uh, the smasher next turn. Dang it. Okay, so we can just chalice for zero. Um, I mean, uh, engineer for zero. We can pass it to them, and if we need to play the stub, we're going to be able to by cracking the EE. <sighs> play Big Daddy Git. Come on, do it. Why'd you have to play the four drop, not the five drop? So the question here is, do we want to risk cracking the EE right now, taking out the token and the chalice? Because if we top deck a land, then we'll be able to kill Gideon. I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I want to stream um, tomorrow or Thursday, because I, I can't do it um, Tuesday, I have class now, and uh, Wednesday, I'm not going to be able to. Woot. on one I guess we have to counter it because otherwise we're, that's just going to sit in our hand can't play the noble oh, now they got big daddy gid Gonna kill our smasher. We need to top deck a smasher right now. All right, or a knight of autumn that we can't cast. It's good too. It's good too. Yeah, I guess we can. I can play paper. Oh, yes, we're so good. need them not to have a removal spell for us. I took it out. Ah, cast out. All right, if we can get a green source here, we can take care of the cast out, get our, um, get our smasher back, and then kill Gideon. We're so good. Don't have another one. Yes, we did it. Oh, my gosh.
Um, I don't know. The Reflection Mage, the the two leagues I played with it had, like, no impact. So, I don't know. I probably should keep it in there. I, th I think it is relevant. <laughs> that was a big L stuff. Make them give up their token or take it for two. Yeah, I was leaning towards night being better, but like, I don't know. Definitely, I, I like it, it being a one of it, you can't get like solid testing with it, unfortunately. That's no good for us. Didn't sing, swing with both. Caverns. All right, we really got to draw something here. I guess drown or something we could draw. Drown or buys us a turn? You want me to just drop this league and play that deck? That's probably not gonna happen. It's like 9.30 already. I think we could use a displacer right now. Thought not. I think Thought Knot is not good enough. We swing out. Gideon takes one, and then they swing on us and kill us. Yeah, I think that's game. science properly as well. That's it. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're too good. Stopped. I 
get the get fathers, man. We knew it was just a matter of time before Mono White Walkers with Gideon just 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 stomps the format, right? All right, this is solid. Yeah, I guess I would be uh, more interested in playing Paper Magic tomorrow, so I can uh, play Paper Magic tomorrow, class Tuesday, work event on Wednesday, and then I'll stream on Thursday, and then not do anything Friday, because we'll have to get up and get ready for the event on Saturday. Oh, I should have played Temple. I wanted to hold a path, but the Temple is more relevant. Because it's very... Would be a pretty insane hand for them to make path relevant here. Okay. We're against Whirr again. Duck is so annoying. It's so good. They can whir right now for two. Do I think Ancient Stirrings will get banned, even though KCI was banned? I think there's a very good chance that inevitably uh, Ancient Stirrings will get banned. Get rid of the bridge. Snaring bridge. Mm -hmm. Faithless Looting, I think, is the most popular draw spell right now that we're seeing in the format. Um, I, th I personally think Ancient Stirrings, um, the card that creates more degenerate decks um, over it. Is that lethal? Yeah, it's lethal. Nice. Um, yeah, I th Yeah, we didn't even need to. All right, we want the stubs, we want the deputies, we want the knights, and we want the rest in peace, and the stone needs to lock them out of abilities to win. Let's ship that away. Don't need the drowners. I don't need the smashers. What else did we cut last time? Did we cut the spawners last time? I think so. Yeah, like, I think, um... 
Faithless Looting is a fine card right now. It's like super popular and, and doing really well in the format. Um, but I think that's like a more reasonable draw spell than like Ancient Starrings. Like Faithless Looting at least lets you interact with it. I think the rips are worth it because the rips is how they win the game and how you lo they lock you out of the game. Like th their only way to win is um, by beating rip. Because the other times we've lost to this deck so far, it's through them looping a spell over and over again. Um, or their normal win contest with, through Rivulet. Temple is good here, but so is Brushland, so we can cast the Knight. But if we don't have the... Hmm. Yeah, I think Brushland's going to be better here, because then we can go Knight into Displacer and just keep going, chaining that, luck hopefully. Do I think Modern Horizons has a big chance of changing the format metagame dramatically? I honestly hope so. Um, one of the biggest things they've been saying is that they they want the... Um, th they're hoping to be able to print cards that are... Print cards that are a, that were too strong for standard, but it is something they wanted to add into modern. You know, they were in this awkward situation where they weren't able to introduce cards in a real way without impacting standard, which they weren't willing to do. So now they're able to introduce cards into modern that they feel are powerful enough to be here. Like I believe one of their statements was they don't want to see, um, they did not want to see counterspell in standard but they did want to see it in modern so they had to hold off on it and as a result that's where we're at now so i'm very excited to see what they can add to this format and hopefully it's also going to bring down the price because that's the other issue with modern cars are really expensive and they're getting more and more expensive and it's really not where we want the format to be the the more expensive these cards gets the more people are just going to get pushed out and like you're gonna lose more and more players from modern because of it people can't afford these uh, to keep up these prices you're gonna end up just like legacy so i hope this does a, a two-fold attack where you're gonna be able to introduce relevant cards you're gonna be able to also reduce the cost of these cards as well and i think that's just gonna be overall really great for the format i also think it's really good that they're doing this because it shows that they're not willing to let this format just die like some people were predicting you know they some people were really worried that this format's dead no one's gonna they're not wizards doesn't care about this format anymore they're gonna go strictly online just care about arena if they are investing an entire set dedicated to modern that shows that they want this format to stick around play this on wizards in case we need it and i'm gonna run out the other knight here I don't think you're going to have a problem with your deck staying relevant. Dredge is a really strong deck, and if anything, it's just going to get stronger. You've been seeing the power of it increase, um, and I think Hardened Scales Affinity is a solid deck right now, too. So yeah, I don't I don't think you have to, you know, you're not going to end up like me where I owned Splinter Twin and it got banned, and then I owned Pod and it got banned. You know, those decks were <laughs> pretty strong and pretty out there, so it, it's gone now. Um, and then, let's see.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't think uh, I don't think blue lights in Jeskai are that strong right now. I think they're the most relevant control decks, but I don't think that's saying much. We can deputy away their spell skite or just swing in and then play our displacer. I think I like the displacer line more here. And then next turn we'll be able to just start bouncing things like crazy. Like, I don't think Counterspell is that strong because we're already effectively playing Counterspell because of um, Logic Knot. It's just, a, you know, slightly worse, but not even by that much. All right, we can deputy away the Psy here. No. We have to blink the knight first, kill the spell sky, and then next turn bounce this um, blink and take out the psi. Okay, I think it is. This turn. Okay, alternatively, we can just EE -E here. We need to get one more mana. Okay. Well, we're going to pass it over to them this turn. Ooh, Torpor Orb, that's rough. Alright, so we're going to have to EE -E on two here. They can blow both welding jars to stop this. So we can pass this another go round. Go for the deputy on spell sky, then no. No, I can't deputy on the spell sky because that's gone. All right. This is rough. Hmm. I think we're just going to pass it again. What do I think about Titan Red Green Shift for After Modern Horizons? Do you think it has a chance to upgrade or disappear forever? Um, like, I've I'm, I own Titan Chef and I've been a Titan Chef player for some time now. Um, I guess, like, what would you be looking for as an upgrade, um, or for it to disappear forever? Because I don't think it's going to disappear forever. I would have a hard time seeing that happen because it is such a it's it's like a consistent deck, but it's not like over the top in. I mean, it's like you're not speeding out and getting like a oh I got a great hand so I get a turn three kill here. You're like turn four, put him in a good spot, maybe turn five kill. That's what you do with Titan Shift, but it's just good at what it does. Alright, we're gonna pop EE -E here and make them blow the first two uh, welding jars right now. See, I, I don't, I really don't think red green shift is gonna go anywhere. I think it can only get stronger. So it, it is possibly gonna get worse over time if the meta changes and other cards etch it out of existence. But I, I don't think. Like, the deck itself is necessarily worse because of what it's doing. It's just other decks are keeping up with it at a higher level. Uh... 
Okay, well, we can blank their side here and start applying more pressure. And we can Ancient Stirrings as well. Thought Knot's also pretty good. I believe they still have um, an ensnaring bridge in hand, so I think we actually want to take care of that right now. <laughs> they should add crop rotation. Oh, yeah. So we have the option of blinking, sigh, and then swinging for seven which seems pretty good they should just redirect it to spell sky though so actually yeah that's that's not really worth it let's, yeah so let's just run this out um we've already got one on wizards one on eldrazi um we don't have it on knights yet but we have the, we've already got to cast both of them so let's just call this on humans and let's run out our thought knot And pass. Oh, I'm so dumb. Thought not. Doesn't do anything. Torque orb. I hate that card. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Yeah, uh, Tron's just not in a great spot right now with how aggressive this format is. It's just getting blown out of the water. run out our null. Hmm. Attempt to blink side, they redirect it to spell skite. Doesn't leave us with much of an attack, but it's still a decent attack as we have Thought Knot. They'll have to block with the Thopter, getting rid of that. We can go Displacer and Thopter, and then they would just go Psy and Thopter. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll actually just attempt to blink the token. Dumb. They have ensnaring bridge. Definitely need our second EE. This is the other thing I was thinking about, uh, Groby. I was thinking about putting in the other um, two more EEs in the side, so they can't get caught out like Knight is. So we could take, we could trim one night of autumn for that and then you know possibly trim like a rest in peace because we have four of them but Tezzeret it's not good for us possibly allows us to attack with three creatures I mean with the displacer this turn Ugh. 
I think we're gonna have the stirrings here. Just more lands. I'm gonna grab the hollow fountain. Because I, I don't, I, and I don't want to grab the fetch because I don't, uh, we sent a lot of cards that I don't want to see and I'm just going to get closer to that. We can cut some number of rips for paths. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't want to shock ourselves here. I think we're just going to go this. Lay out the rip and then pass it over. Yeah, as um, I forgot who said it up here, uh, Halster. So they, they're on the um, the other the the side plan here. I think we can just take out the rips and we can bring in the paths to take care of their size and their spell skites and stuff. Yeah, I really wouldn't mind trying to fit uh, two more EEs into this deck. I, I'm a big fan of that card against a lot of these card, the decks that we're struggling with. Unless they're trying to next level us and bring it back in and take those things out. That'd be pretty good on their part. Alright, we're going to keep this. We're going to go get ourselves a breeding pool here. And run out the snow pool. Get engineered on uh, nope. Engineer and zero be bad. They just sack the welding jar and mock. So I think we're gonna start off with the stirrings. As much as I want that thought knot, I feel like we gotta share up our mana base first, because otherwise we're just not gonna hit the ability to cast it. So let's grab the brush land. We'll play that and we'll pass it over and hold up the stubborn. We can deputy it though. Tapping it this way so we can hold up stub still. fine. Can't do much about that. Three mana spell. 
Spyglass. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to stop it with the stub, so we're going to let that resolve. That's good. I'm glad. Were for two. I should have tapped better. Should have took the damage. Oh, there are. It's gonna be on Torpor Orb. Okay, so I think now, because I was too conservative with my mana tapping, we are just on a beatdown plan. This will help us slow them down a bit. I think it's gonna cost us three. Yeah, I've been seeing a couple uh, rug sh um, red green titan shift decks do well. They've popping up once in a while. I actually put the list together um, on one of my playtest days and tested it out to see where I can get to do with it. So. All right. If that's the case, I'm gonna message Jeff back to my play.
Don't really know what they're waiting on. Uh, this deck, I would say I'm like 90% on for this deck right now. <laughs> as bad as that is. Yeah, I, I'm pretty, pretty confident I'm going to be on this deck. appreciate the fact that they think that I should be on Tefri, but we, we did the unreasonable thing and we cut those. So... a sigh and I think that's gonna be the death of us but after this turn we can start doing the thought not make them draw cards thing but it's I've got a good bit of mana And we need more lands to make that reasonable. I don't know, I feel like it's a pretty reasonable matchup against all those decks. I think we're gonna run out the night of uh, the thought knot here. And then we're gonna pass it to them. They can swing in on us this turn, that's fine. Yeah, like, I think it has a good matchup against all those decks. It's not, it's not like it dominantly wins against any of those decks, but it has a lot of options with the sideboard to crush it. Um, let's see. We're just passing here. We're going to start blinking their tokens. Just taking the set. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna win here. They've they've got us locked into like I think every way that we have to get rid of any of the artifacts. All of our ETB effects are locked out. We don't have EE. We don't have Displacer to do any shenanigans. Like, I think they've got us. This is obviously the deck that we were supposed to have Tefri for, but they, would, they named that as well. Yeah, I think we're locked out of this game, folks.
let's see. I don't know. I really don't think there's nothing we can do. Those are just a bunch of lands. Yeah, I think this is over, unfortunately. Not doing great today, folks. We are one in three. Cannot keep that hand. We will keep this hand. And we'll definitely keep that. Goodbye, Displacer. <gasps> Sky Spawner? Really? Yeah, Reese, I know you're not a big fan of this deck at all right now. We want the thought knot here because that's the only thing we can reasonably cast right now and then we're just going to swing You still gotta send me that list, by the way, so I can get it over to the person that's gonna build the deck for you. So you should do that real soon. We will blink our noble and take the two from Glyph. That's just fine. Okay, they're just going to concede. That's okay, too. <laughs> um, I like to bring in the rest in peace here. And then the deputy. Thalios can go. And then a couple spawners can go. I have lost to the opponent because uh, I swear Kalidus is just so good. Every creature matchup, that card just dominates. Good that you're doing it right now. Good, good. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty happy with this deck. I mean, this these two leagues have been pretty low quality, but um, my percentages, though, for all the leagues I've ran, I think is 60% win, which I think is pretty strong for Modern. Um, and a little bit higher because there was two five O's, two four ones, um, one three two, and now we have two two threes, and then there's one oh three. This hand is unreasonable. This hand's not bad, but we're not going to be doing much with it though. This is rough. I don't really want to go lower though is the problem. This has all of our colors. Okay. Brush land on top makes me happy.
I'd be happy with a temple right now. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're not right. You're not wrong. I haven't been keeping exactly the exact ones. I can I can pull up a list though and break it down. gonna pass here we could blink it and swing yeah not, well it's either blanket and swing right now and then make them take three damage or prevent the damage they're gonna deal to us and I'd rather prevent the damage they're gonna deal to us because if we blink it right now that tireless tracker could get bigger They got Path, our Smasher. So we're gonna let them discard the card. And then we'll blink it. And then we're just gonna drop this rest in peace and pass it over. Six here. Yeah, about. Okay. Oh, they're gonna hold it back. That's interesting that they would hold it back. Cause I'm just gonna blink it and smash.
Hmm. We got an assassin's trophy. Let's see what they want to take care of. Fatal push our displacer. Yeah, tracker does good work. Always has. That's the other card I thought we might have been wanting to play inside. Six, seven. We can go for a little bit of a stirring, see what we can find. Temple's pretty good. We can go Temple into a Smasher. Play out our Sky Spawner. Smash for six. Oof, they got a pulse. Okay. Not good for else. That smash is probably getting pulsed. They're in a tough spot though. I think they gotta start playing with their shambling vents. Are they swinging with both of them or just one? We could trade with the Bob and block the shambling vents. Or, you know, let's just block the Scion here, and then we'll sack it away. It's going to put them in a tough spot if they want to. Uh, they'll have to pulse our Smasher. Losing another card, they'll be pretty much, they'll have done just one mana. And we'll be able to at least three them in the air. And then we can play Displacer. Oh no, we can just play a Noble. Just in case. Let's see if this is lethal. So that's going to be it for tonight. Um, so as we discussed during the stream here and we figured it out, I will not be playing tomorrow and I'm not able to do it Tuesday because um, I wouldn't be doing it normally, but I have class this uh, next for the next seven weeks and Wednesday I have a work thing. So we are going to stream on Thursday. I'll do some more play testing with this deck. I want to see if I can get this in a good spot before the tournament. So thank you so 